9.5 million Britons are no longer part of the workforce. This isn't just a statistic, it's a staggering reality that's reshaping the UK's economic landscape. What's behind this alarming trend? Why are millions choosing or being forced to step away from employment? And what does this mean for the future of one of the world's most powerful economies? In today's video, we'll dive deep into the reasons behind this dramatic shift, backed by the latest data from the Office for National Statistics, and explore the ripple effects it's causing across the nation. Recent data from the Office for National Statistics reveals that between April and June, 9.5 million people aged 16 to 64 were economically inactive. This is the highest level we've seen since 2011. Even more concerning, over 2.8 million of these individuals are out of work due to long-term sickness. This surge in economic inactivity is becoming a major challenge for the UK government as it struggles to boost economic growth. Now, the UK's labour market is sending some mixed signals. On one hand, the unemployment rate has unexpectedly dropped to 4.2%, but on the other hand, wage growth is slowing down, with regular pay increases slipping from 5.8% to 5.4% in just the last quarter. Moreover, the number of job vacancies is declining, which suggests that the labour market is tightening, even though unemployment is falling. This paints a complex picture, especially for the Bank of England. Slowing wage growth might push them to consider cutting interest rates, but the overall economic situation remains uncertain. There's also talk about immigration playing a role in filling labour shortages, but that topic remains politically sensitive. Labour Party's Rachel Reeves has been vocal about the need for more support to get people back into work, and she's promising to tackle this issue in her upcoming budget. Meanwhile, the government is pointing to the falling unemployment rate as proof that their strategies are working. But with the economy facing significant challenges, both the government and the opposition are under pressure to come up with real solutions. To help us understand this better, let's break down some key insights. A lot of people might jump to conclusions, saying that those out of work are simply lazy or unwilling to find jobs, but the reality is far more nuanced. Many people are dealing with long-term health issues, some of which stem from the COVID-19 pandemic. It's also important to debunk the myth that it's easy to live off benefits in the UK. Most people find that these benefits are barely enough to get by. There's also the issue of mental health, stress, and an increasing number of students, all of which contribute to the rising number of economically inactive people. On top of that, the UK needs to rethink its approach to immigration. Migrants have historically played a crucial role in filling labour gaps, and the idea of treating them as a threat rather than an asset could be hurting the economy more than helping it. So, what's the way forward? If people are able and willing to work, they should be supported with the right tools and opportunities to do so. Instead of punitive measures like cutting benefits, which only pushes people further into poverty, the focus should be on creating re-employment programs, offering reskilling opportunities and investing in sectors that can absorb these workers. The UK government needs to focus on growing the economy by increasing productivity, which means smart investment and spending. The last thing the economy needs is another round of austerity, which could do more harm than good. The UK is facing a complex and challenging situation with its labour market, and there are no easy fixes. But by understanding the deeper issues at play, we can start to see the potential paths forward. At InfoFusion, our mission is to raise awareness, educate and provide valuable information across a wide range of topics, including health, lifestyle, travel and more. We post new videos every weekend, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated. If you found this video valuable, please give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. We look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching.